In building our tiny home, one thing that we talked a lot about was being able to afford the house without having to take out any loans. Today's Wednesday, which means we've been working on the Cobb house for a week and everything's taken shape pretty nicely. We're finally putting the pallets up. We're hoping to get them all up today. Uh, fingers crossed. We're Josiah and Lauda and we exchanged traditional comforts for a life filled with adventure, peace, and freedom when we moved into our band Paz in June of 2021. Join us as we explore alternative ways of living outside the system. Live like Darzan. He is happy. <laughs> I grew up being taught the American dream is having the white picket fence, but in reality that requires taking out a lot of debt, which then takes away my freedom. I went to undergrad, I went to law school, and I had to take out six figures worth of student loans. After quitting my job as an attorney, I knew that I didn't want to do the same thing with the house. I didn't want to take out this big loan that I wasn't going to be able to pay back unless I had a job that paid me a lot of money. So we're using pallets for the inner wall of the Cobb house. Uh, we chose to go this direction for a couple reasons. First, it's a lot quicker than filling the whole wall with Cobb. Also, it's super cheap and most pallets are just thrown out. We got each of these pallets for like maybe a dollar. We just have half of the pallet, so in order to complete the other side, we need to destroy some of the pallets so we can use this wood and we can fill the opposite side of the pallet. I remember when I told you about this place and I said like maybe we can build three or four glampings because now are so popular here so we can hire somebody else or a group of people so we can finish the the glampings faster as possible so we can start a business but I remember we were talking about the pros and cons and all the responsibilities and also maybe the stress that managing a business like that would put on us we realized and we decided we don't want to have a business and especially if we need to ask for a loan. I don't like credits, I don't have any credit card or even when banks ask me, for me it's like, no, I'm very well right now, I don't need any credit. And I think at least in my experience, it's normal to have multiple credit cards, student loans, personal loans, a car payment, a house payment, and like no judgment. I think for a lot of people, like being able to leverage your credit really benefits, you know, people being able to start businesses, all sorts of different things. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I just know for us discussing it, we want to be as free as possible. We want to be able to pick up and go and we don't want to be tied down to a job. We don't want to be tied down to payments. It's a really beautiful idea being able to have something that no matter what, we'll be able to come back to without having those monthly payments. Especially like the life we are living right now, we don't want that distress. For example, I would ask for a loan to build the, the glampings or even a big house and paying somebody else. I think that right now we'll be stressed out thinking I need them to finish faster so maybe we can rent her out but now it's like okay whatever if we pick late. up and go for a month because we want to go explore some other place and we come back we can finish it whenever we want we have no pressure we are using this straw for the insulation of the house so we put the straw inside this pallet and with this wood we press it so it's get like compact. <laughs> so the straw not only serves as insulation, but it also saves us time because rather than having to fill all this space with cob, we're able to fill it with straw and then put cob on each side of the pallet. It's just a different way of thinking to say rather than seeing what I can afford, what's the nicest thing that I can pay for with my current job, Maybe just building something small 
that you know you're never gonna have to worry about payment. They, they have a lot of like stress and a lot of anxiety because they need to pay for the loan, they need to pay for the credit card. I have allergies from um, the sun. Like this is such a, a shift, I think, within the United States or within maybe the world. Like we didn't used to have as much debt as we currently do. Like I understand the price of education, the housing market, rent, everything, like the prices are going up. So maybe that's part of it, but it's interesting that people are so comfortable taking on tons and tons mm. of debt. It's just normal because everyone does it. It's common. Right? Like if you want to go shopping and you don't have money. You have the credit card. <laughs> exactly. And I think, I think the biggest takeaway for me is just understanding that taking out loans to get nicer things, bigger things, more things. Okay, like that's cool but there's a cost and that cost has been my freedom in the past mm -hmm. where I feel like I, I have to take a job, I have to do certain things that I otherwise don't want to do. In my case, I was working in a call center mm -hmm. for a couple of months. The only like reward for me was like, oh, I'm going to buy something that I like. In my case, it was food. In other cases, a new TV or a machine to work out or whatever. And people ended up buying things that they don't need because they don't have the time. Because they don't like their job, but then because they buy the things, they have to keep working their job to pay off exactly. the things they're buying. Exactly, so it's like a vicious circle. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're choosing to build this house cheap, mm -hmm. right, with the money that we have, and to have some place to come back to without any real expenses. Yeah, and we are doing pretty well. That's not falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do a video on minimalism, and definitely check that video out because I think it relates to what we're talking about here, just this idea of being happy with less. Yeah, it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like our channel. And join us on Patreon for exclusive content and more. <laughs>